Hey, what's going on everybody? If you're looking to start streaming or recording a podcast, this video is for you. I'm gonna walk you through everything from downloading OBS, setting up scenes, configuring your audio, and getting a smooth stream the first time. By the end of this video, you will have a fully functioning OBS setup ready to stream and record. So first things first, what is OBS Studio? OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, is a free open source program for recording and streaming. It's one of the most popular tools out there because it's powerful, customizable, and completely free. So to download it, just head over to obsproject.com, select your operating system, which could be Windows, Mac, or Linux, and install it like any other program. Now that you have it installed, go ahead and launch OBS. The first thing I always do after installing OBS is I run the Auto Configuration Wizard. So go over to Tools, Auto Configuration Wizard. So here, you can optimize it for streaming first, recording second, or just for recording, I will not be streaming. So click the first one, streaming first, recording a second. Once you're done with that, go ahead and follow the prompts and let OBS determine the best settings for resolution, bitrate, and encoder. This will ensure that you're getting a stable, high-quality stream without having to manually tweak technical settings. Now that that's set up, let's talk about scenes. Scenes are different sections of your stream or recording that you can switch between. Each scene can contain different sources like video, images, text, or audio, allowing you to create a smooth, professional production. I personally like to set up at least three scenes for a podcast. This would be your intro scene, a simple video or graphic with music to start the stream, your main feed or live feed. This is where the actual podcast happens with your camera and guest audio. And then finally, your outro scene, a closing screen with music or a call to action. To create a scene, go to the scenes box located right here, click the plus button, and name it accordingly. So for this example, I have my own personal brand video for the intro scene, and if I were to click this, the video would start playing automatically. Now, once this is done, you could simply go to your live feed, which I have nothing set up at the moment, or once the podcast is over, you would finish the video by hitting your outro. Next up, audio. This is where a lot of people can go wrong because OBS automatically adds your system audio and microphone to every scene. We don't want that. We want our guests talking only during the main feed, not over the intro or the outro. So to fix this, you're gonna go to your settings at the bottom right of OBS. Once you're in the settings, you're gonna go over to audio. Once you're inside of audio, you need to set all default devices to disabled. Now that you've done that, you can go back and manually add an audio input source to your main feed. Also, I'm recording this outside at my apartment complex and check out this creepy mannequin that's set up to look like a person watching me. So this whole time, I feel like this guy's been staring at me. So check it out. So now you need to head over to your main feed scene, or in this case, I have it labeled as live. Now you'll need to add your mic or audio interface so that the people can hear you talking. So to do that, you're gonna go over to this sources box and you're gonna click the plus sign at the bottom left. Once this menu pulls up, you're going to go to the audio input capture. Once you're here, you can label it whatever you would like. Now you're going to select your microphone or audio interface from this list. Now, you can adjust levels in this audio mixer panel to make sure your voice is clear. If you have multiple guests, you can add additional audio input capture sources or use software like Voice Meter to manage multiple audio channels. So now that we talked about audio, you're going to need to add a video capture device in this same source box. So you'll just go to the plus at the bottom left again. This time, you'll add a video capture device. You can, of course, name this whatever you would like for it to be. And then from here is where you can decide what camera you would like to use within OBS. You can Use your computer's built-in webcam, or if you plug in any external cameras, they'll show up here as well. Another cool thing is you can actually remote to your phone, so if I were to hit my phone camera, I could show things with my phone camera wirelessly. Now before you start recording or streaming, let's go over a few key settings to make sure everything runs smoothly. First, let's look at your recording format. So under settings, on the left, go ahead and click on the output tab. Within this output tab, you're going to set your recording format to MP4. MKV is safer because it prevents file corruption, but I personally prefer MP4. Next, let's look at some hotkeys. So while you're still in your settings tab, go over here to the left side and click hotkeys. From here, you can set different shortcuts for switching between scenes quickly. Finally, let's check your stream key. If you're going to be streaming, make sure that from your settings, you go to stream, and then right here under stream key, make sure you put in the proper key from YouTube, Restream, Twitch, wherever you're streaming to, make sure you put in the proper stream key 
right here. So in other words, your stream key is going to connect OBS to whatever platform you're streaming to. And that's it. With this setup, you are now ready to stream and record a professional podcast using OBS Studios. If this was helpful at all, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you in the next video.